two running, right? At a time. But if I do this, it'll be minus one point. It'll be minus 1.5. So I'll only have 0.5 going up here. So I think I'm going to do this. So they're still going up. And the more I get of this will increase this. But it'll only increase this after I prestige. Is my understanding? Oh, yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? Is Lodi's here back with a, another unnamed space idol game or episode, I guess. Um, yeah, this is we've been off. Um, I mean, we've been away for a little bit. I did log in a couple of days ago. Um, just to check on things to see how things were going and uh, yeah we made a lot of stuff to where we can make crazy amounts of progress <clears throat> so while we were away the last two days we've made uh, a bunch of scrap a bunch of uh compute power um got a ton of levels our shard damn it or our shards we got and a bunch of material and energy and whatnot um down here it looks like we've also um okay <clears throat> it looks like we also have um let's see here um a bunch of other stuff down here so infinite resource production we unlocked that you got a new recipe there infinite resource production on that uh shard residence okay so a bunch of research and a bunch of other stuff unlocked there um here <clears throat> i did max out <clears throat> i guess i didn't max them out um i maxed out this one down here and this one up here as well. <clears throat> um, all we have left is basically leveling these ones up down here. I don't know if we're going to get to it because they do get pretty expensive. <clears throat> um, boom. So now we have all upgrades that we could possibly get fully upgraded right now. And we can continue to upgrade them because it increases the damage. So you might as well. Um, compute power. Um, <clears throat> let's see. We well, can dump a ton of stuff into this. It's optimized. So yeah, we got a ton of stuff going on here. I'm not sure why it hasn't gone into damage too. I don't know if that's just because <clears throat> um, these other ones are better for the moment or what. Um, I did bump this up to a hundred thousand as well. So like, <laughs> damage boost and shield boost is is up there. Um, synth power. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, we got this going. This is maxed out, so infinite resource production, which is huge. Uh, we also have this one maxed out for infinite resource production as well. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, looks like the only one we don't have is this one, which we can easily change that to this and change this one to producing this as well. So now we'll get these two going, um, probably by the next episode, if uh, whenever that'll be. Um, this one will probably be close to uh, infinite resource production, which will be level 60. And this one as well. So we'll get that stuff going. Um, we can also upgrade some of this stuff as well here. Okay, get this stuff to the green. So we have an infinite amount of the regular stuff. Cool, so now we got that stuff going. Uh, modules are still the same. Nothing's changed there. We do have 420 blaze it uh synth points <clears throat> which is pretty crazy we can uh, pump a bunch into this so like <clears throat> let's see it'd take a what's this 80 so yeah 80 points max out damage 80 points or no 90 points here so like we could start maxing out some of this stuff um if we wanted to this one costs 250 for an active module slot which would open up another um, module slot over here. So we'll have five slots. Looks like we got another achievement. So we could do that. Um, What else? Yeah, this is just all damage. Nothing too crazy there. So yeah, it looks like it's just getting the upgrades. Um, so yeah, we might as well just max this out. So that one's maxed. Get, get shields maxed out. That one's maxed. We can press on. Um, we're going to probably destroy, actually, uh, I was going to say hold off for a second, but that's okay. 
synth power compute. Let's just dump a bunch of upgrades into this. Um, synth power generation, sure. So, um, let's see. Then we'll do, let's do three into that and something like that, four. And, okay, cool. So we got that. <clears throat> um, we're on 10B, V device. So we got this guy maxed, which is, can go into red. Um, synth speed, <clears throat> 1.25. This one is void matter or salvage amount multiplier. I'm not going to worry about those two yet. Um, we probably, in the next run, we'll probably run the alpha route. So the 9 alpha, 10 alpha <clears throat> to get the uh, diamond um, to get that one maxed out. Um, and these ones are maxed. Cool. Um, prestige, we can do, but uh, we're going to just truck on forward. And what else? Reactor. <clears throat> we're able to keep three running at one time now because I did boost this up to one um, in between episodes. And we still get a plus 11 going. And we have the two times the penalty right now. So it's costing, what, 10, 20, 26 right now to run? <clears throat> Always tells us right there. But we're generating 37 a second at the one per, at the one right here. So that's pretty good, I'd say. We're looking pretty good there. Research, research. I swapped from uh, energy research over to material research. So um, let's see here. So this has been trucking away, making some good progress here. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'll probably keep it on this one for a little while, mainly because uh, we get improved synthing, compute speed, and stuff like that. Um, I mean, we could go research gain, um, improve targeting range. So, like, we could go this route as well, fire rate, VM, but I think we're doing okay. I mean, they're all going to get maxed eventually, so nothing too, really too crazy to uh, worry about. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much all of that. Um, I think I did turn the... Yeah, there we go. Turn that back up. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's do this again. So, yeah, we got these three running. Eventually, we'll work on getting the four, which also helped for achievements. So, we've started knocking out um, not a lot of achievements, but a decent chunk of achievements. So, we finally... The enemies are taken away. <clears throat> Next one is to reach Sector 11, which we should be able to reach. I don't see why not, because we have a crazy amount of shield down here. Like a crazy amount. And our damage is pretty pretty strong. So I think we can make it to Sector 14, which would be pretty sweet. Um, let's see. We're also looking at Emergency Retreats. So we haven't retreated a whole lot. <clears throat> Basically, that's you push and you die. Um, sector 5 with the basic ship. So basically, uh, we're currently not running the basic ship. Um, we're running a different one, which we can see that in Prestige. Basically, to get these ones, you need to make it all the way to Sector 60 with the starter ship, which in Prestige, that's the basic ship. We're running the cruiser right now. Which the basic ship is just these two turrets, which, honestly, we could probably make it pretty far, but I think I'm going to hold off on that and see if we can do that in, like, not one run, but one uh, decent run, because you got to make it to 5 and then 11, then 18, 24, and 30, so on and so forth. So um, make all Synth 1 recipes infinite, which we're almost there. We'll, we'll get this one probably in between the next episodes because um, this one is the last one we need to get infinite. It's currently only level 3, but we'll probably get this one to uh, 50 in between episodes. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to do that. Um... And there's a lot of tiers. It looks like there's nine different tiers. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a little bit of a grind. Max out two unique void shards. We did that. Max out seven unique void shards. We're slowly working on that. Um, <clears throat> sustain of five power boosts for five plus minutes. That's going to be a while until we get that going. Uh, research, we're slowly trucking away. And then complete one challenge, which we haven't even gotten to any of the challenges yet. So I, I think we're doing pretty good so far. Gain 100 total crew levels. We haven't even got that. Yeah, see, we're one-shotting the boss on wait, on Sector 11. So I'm not really too... I'm not too worried about it at all. Um, what else? We're also looking at this one, which is clear 12 unique sectors. We're almost there as well. What is this guy? And then, let's see. In a single prestige, clear every sector A, B, C, up to, and including 15 within 20 minutes of prestiging. So that's like a speed run, okay. And it unlocks fire rate times 
uh, 1.01 and tick rate, plus 100 AI points, which is pretty gnarly. Uh, reach Sector 5 with the basic ship. Okay, we already went over that. So that's pretty much all the run through uh, with all this. So I, I think we're looking pretty good so far. Uh, AI points, we're sitting at 140. Um, oh, it looks like we just got uh, a couple more achievements. What are those ones? Oh, Sector 5, Sector 11. Okay. And new shard discovered. Hey, we discovered a new shard. This must be like a big boy ship or something coming out here. Um, so if we go to... Well, let's go to AI points first. Right now, I think I'm saving up to get the... Uh, either the core upgrade or the auto salvage. Or maybe even the smart craft. I don't know. One of these three, I think. Either or, we're going to we're gonna need like 450. This one will be 300, so we'll probably get the auto salvage first. Uh, auto um, accumulation is working pretty well. Like, we are like, we're five AI points away from unlocking consumables, which is pretty huge. I don't even know what that consists of, but we're getting pretty, pretty close to it. Um, <clears throat> let's see, we did unlock a new one of these, which is be found in 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 fire rate compute speed and salvage amount once again i'm not sure what is all good um it looks like this one will, will end up replacing the green one with eventually this is times 2.015 okay damage 38 i mean it's better already so realistically we could get this one and just throw it in there um i'm gonna throw it we'll probably yeah we'll one shot that one too <laughs> Okay, we are approaching an alien megastructure. It is still a couple of sectors away, but expect the resistance to ramp up as we get closer. Targeting controls have been unlocked. Okay, 12 unique sectors. Sweet. So we've made it through that. Um, AI. So accumulation. We've unlocked consumables now. So consumables... Let's see. Purchase one for 50 AI points. Extra retrofit. Squeeze some extra use out of spare materials and gain plus one retrofit for this run. Requires retrofits to be unlocked. The retrofit will be lost on prestige, so be sure to use it. Or a six hour time skip for 125. We have one of each. I don't think I'm going to use either of them <clears throat> because it's not worth it. Because we still have all these upgrades left to unlock. I'm not going to waste AI points on these two. If that makes sense. Um, so once we get all these maxed, then I'll worry about spending on consumables. But right now, I don't think we, I don't think we necessarily need to worry about it. Um, let's see. Ooh, targeting. So this is what we unlocked: targeting, um, unarmored, highest damage. So we can change this. Um, highest damage, target swapping, target overlap. Sure. I mean, I, I don't really want to change anything. I don't think there's anything I need to change yet. We're slowly approaching the, um, not the end, but we're slowly approaching uh, here. Um, I'm tempted to bump this up to, say, 300,000. Oh, look at that. It optimized and threw it into damage 2 and shield 2. Okay, so that's going to increase uh, our stuff here. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going down since I'm cons consuming 300,000 salvage per. It's not decreasing like significantly, so I'm not too, too worried about that, which is good. We could probably even bump it up to 500,000, which I may actually end up doing here. Okay. So if we say 500,000. New recipe unlocked. Okay. And we're still one shot in the boss. So I think we can make it. I think we can make it to a 14. Shoot. Maybe even. I want to say maybe even 18. But 18 might be pushing it. We'll see here. We'll see here. Um, We, are, we can prestige. But I'm going to hold off on that. Modules. So we got a new one. Let's see. <laughs> Create an upgraded module, uh, increase compute speed. Okay. I don't think we need to do compute speed right now. I think compute speed is doing okay. 
um, for the moment. So I'm not too worried about that. We could create it if we wanted to, though. Um, Hold now here. It's 250 to max, and we can go all the way to sector 15. And then I'm probably going to farm sector 15 to try and max this guy out. Um, I may not even have to. And we may just... We could just get it on the next run after we prestige. Um, which we may actually end up doing in this episode. I just want to see how far we can make it. Yeah, this is already maxed out. <clears throat> so let's um just, I guess, max these out up until the 8,000. I'm not sure. Max void power capacity. So shards, sh power shard two times two, two times research. VP max is times four. Total multiplicative bonus is eight. So I think for this, we should probably research and maybe work our way down here somewhere. VP generation. Uh, I don't know though. I don't know though. But so far, I think we're making some pretty good progress. We should be able to hit uh, sector 14 here in a second to see what th that unlocks. I'm not 100% sure on what that unlocks, but we'll see here. Uh, let's save real quick. Um, yeah, 160. So we're slowly uh, making our way through this. A lot of this is gonna be like, probably just in between episodes, like me just logging in, claiming whatever I need to claim, um, and swapping our synth over to like the next tier uh, output to start researching. Oh, we got this now. Automation chip. Okay. Maybe I'll I'll research that as well. Oh. Okay, we had to actually use our boosts there. So we unlocked bases. We should be able to utilize the structure. Click the bases tab. Okay. You can view bases we have access to here. Uh, each base will have its own unique resources, buildings, bonuses, and upgrades. Bases will unlock as you reach them and destroy their guardian. Okay. Uh, you can see the resources the base generates here. Uh, these resources are used for either building, for either buildings or upgrades or a stat bonus. All right. Uh, stat bonus for this base is shown here. These scale on one of the resources the base produces. Uh, click the manage button. Okay. Each base has slots for buildings, of course. Um, a few are available from the start and more can be purchased with resources that are generated, but they will not be available until the next reset. Ooh. So it'll generate resources, but you can't use them to build. But you, you can use them, you can't use them to build until the reset. Interesting. Buildings can be placed on the grid by clicking one to select it. Then clicking on any active square on the grid. Buildings can also be upgraded to produce more or increase their effect. Oh, interesting. Uh, finally, there will be a few unique upgrade purchase, uh, purchasable that have a large impact. You should produce as much of the basic resource as you can, but still produce plenty of the component resource as this increases the stat bonus shown above, which is damage and max shields. Had this increased the stat bonus shown above and is is the main way the base contributes to your overall power. Ah, interesting, okay. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so yeah, we wanna produce this, but we also wanna produce um, enough of this. Um, but I also wanna have a booster, it looks like. So I'll probably do the booster like here. Would make the most sense to get all of them, all four. Um, So right now it's purchasing, or it's it's making what? Is it one per second? Okay. So I'll want you two here with this one. So I'll have two running, right? At a time. But if I do this, it'll be minus one point. It'll be minus 1.5. So I'll only have 0.5 going up here. So I think I'm going to do this. So they're still going up and the more I get of this will increase this, but it'll only increase this after I prestige is my understanding. Uh, unlocks levels for, let's see, 
reactor boosts, upgrade weapon and uh, defense cores, <clears throat> retrofitting allowing you to change cores once a run, increase uh, compute tabs, compute levels per second plus 20, increase um, to research capabilities, that would be insane. Research capabilities times 30, that is huge. I mean, it's two points. It's 2.00 E15, so it's a long ways away. Unlocks ability to start at base one on prestige. Okay, that's pretty crazy too. It's actually wild. Um, it's cool. So we have this going. So we're not going to worry about this. It looks like we unlocked another shard, and we got new AI upgrades. Okay, so we unlocked another shard, which will probably replace this one eventually. So. Void matter con uh, conversion time and void power generation. Okay. Imminent threat. Can we make it through this one? <clears throat> we may need to use up some of our... Uh... Yeah, we're going to... Holy smokes, he's... Yeah, he hurts a little bit. Just a tad, just a tad. Definitely uh, strikes us uh, a little harder than, uh, than, in <laughs> than I anticipated. All right, so yeah, this is already back up to 8,000, so let's do this. So Void Matter uh, per second is up to 39.79. Now, because um, this would be 36, it might be times three, though. So if I do this, yeah, it's times three. So it's 69 power drain. So yeah, we can't do that. Can't do that, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So yeah, the... These guys are definitely getting a little stronger to uh, fight. So there's definitely no way that if we prestige that we could do a basic frigate. There's just there's just no way, unfortunately. Um, defeat Sector 11 boss for the next to unlock. We did. And now defeat Sector 15 to unlock Defense Bulk Generator. So we, we ended up actually unlocking the beam laser fires a beam with constant damage, ramping over time, prevents shield regeneration. Okay, so maybe I'll replace a Gatlin laser with one of these guys. We'll see how that goes. I think I'm gonna hold off though. I still wanna push to see uh, if we can make it to 18, that'd be cool, but eh, it's gonna get questionable, <laughs> I would say. Cause right now we're at sector 15. We're not one-shotting these guys anymore. They're, and once they start shooting our shield, like we are taking some damage, but we're not taking like an insane amount of damage. So I think we're doing okay for the moment, which isn't too bad. Um, Gallon laser, yeah, looks like all the kind of the same upgrades as like all the other guns. Um, auto advance on prestige, which we'll probably worry about that later, the farther we get. Right now, I'm really, I really want to try and get uh, these two close to max. We probably could replace them now because this is uh, max void power times 2.17. This right now is just times two. And conversion 1.468. Oh my gosh, that actually one-shot us. I was not prepared for that at all. Okay, so we're not making it to Sector 15. But if we prestige... So we could retrofit. Let's you change your ship in ship loadout. Make the changes you want on the left, and then click the retrofit button. I don't think it's worth using right now. I don't think it's worth using. Um, oh, we did have new AI upgrades. So we have base auto upgrade. It looks like in reactor auto buy. Auto purchases reactor upgrades. Okay. I could see that i guess um prestige I, I i think we're gonna prestige um let's see as you progress deeper okay click the big button select the ship for the next run various ship names i was really hoping to make it past you know what let's i'm gonna i'm gonna give it one more shot i'm gonna see if we can push up but i'm gonna blast both of these before it gets to us and hopefully we can do enough damage before it pops up. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay, yeah, it's just going to one-shot us, so... Let's see. Let's replace a Gatlin laser. 
with beam laser. So now we have one of each type that may not be the greatest idea because we have a laser cannon, standard fire rate, standard damage, high fire rate, low damage, high damage, low fire rate, and charges, which is the charge laser, which we have. So we have a charge laser, gallant laser, and a beam laser now. So we're getting rid of the laser cannon. All right, let's prestige and I guess we'll see where, where things go. And <clears throat> we did this synth. Um, what is the problem here? So we got 21 points. Let's pump it both into that for salvage amount. Here we can activate. Um, okay, so four, these four are already like almost like permanent active, it looks like. Um, and yeah, these are going. Oh, it's because we don't have enough scrap. Okay. Okay, so let's do this then over here. And that's going to probably continue to flash because we don't have enough scrap. Um, I'll blast through all of these. And then we can just push forward. Um, we'll do this. We'll optimize. And I'll just keep upgrading these. Um, fee device. Yep, we're going to keep that for now. I am going to go 9 alpha, though, and try and max out this diamond, even though we're not going to use it right now. Um, I am going to max it out just so we have it just in case down the road. Um, prestige, we're not going to worry about. Reactor. Yeah, reactor's at 8,000. So I'm going to bump this up to like probably like 0.25. Actually, let's do 0.45. So we could probably run at least boost engine. And this one. So power drain is only eight now so we're not running into too much of an issue here um research that's going to continue doing its thing and this is going to continue doing its thing as well which now the current bonus is 1.31 um on prestige which it's going to be a while um our next buy on this page for bases will probably be another area here and it'll probably be building mats um it's going to be my guess is what we're going to go for and yeah we're gonna just keep this going let it afk and we're gonna see how far we get um probably by the time you guys see this these two will be maxed and hopefully we'll max out some of these ones as well i won't spend any synth points until uh we come back for the next episode but these may be uh, these materials may be up to tier two um maybe even tier three um since this technically is tier two i believe so maybe even tier three um let's see and yeah hopefully i'll have these three maxed out and yeah we'll see where it all leads us but uh i do want to say thank you guys all for watching if you guys did enjoy it any way throughout this video make sure you guys tap that like button down below i'd greatly appreciate it also if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe every little bit counts i do greatly appreciate it and if you guys have any tips and tricks on this game uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm I read every single comment, and uh, yeah, I'm willing to check it out and see uh, see what it's all about. And uh, it looks like we just unlocked a new uh, module, so I want to look at that real quick. Automatically uses laser boost. Ooh, that could actually be super useful. That could be super useful. How many synth points do we have? We only have four. Maybe I should save up 250 to get the next module slot. Because that could be that could be of use. Um, this is increased salvage gain, void matter recovered from enemies. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna keep those for right now. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep those for right now. We could upgrade the tiers, but we don't have any of this yet. So, yeah, I might upgrade the tiers in between episodes. I'm not sure. Um, you guys will, I guess, just see when uh, the time comes. But uh, yeah. Once again, thank you guys all for watching. This has been Unnamed Space Idol. Hopefully you all have been enjoying the content. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.